Right then, here we go. Seraphim 17 once again with more Bayonetta. This time, Chapter 14, Isla del Sol Part 2. And this is the one-on-one -on -one with Jean. Your final encounter with her, so enjoy it. You'll never have to fight the bitch again. The first thing you're going to notice is you're on top of this building after you flew in. And she has a purple life bar. <laughs> purple is bad, if anybody's wondering. I mean, don't get me wrong, purple's a lovely colour. But purple in this game generally means like ninth layer of health or something crazy. So it's a long fight. And the first thing I'll say at the start is these first two transitions of the fight are one checkpoint. So if you die before you get to a certain area, you will have to fight all the way back from the very start of this. So by the end of this chapter, you're going to either be very good at fighting this girl or very angry with this game. So as per usual, whenever she goes up in the air like that, she's always going to come down with the, the horizontal kick. So be aware and dodge it. The only times you can go into witch time against her is if you dodge her wicked weave moves. And uh, she's very fast, which we already know by now. This is chapter 14. We've been fighting this bitch all the time. Uh, one big advantage now, though, is we have the kill gauze. So if we can hit her with those combos, she's going to fucking feel them. And uh, this is the first transition of the level because you're fighting so hard you knocked the building over. <laughs> I saw. I don't know, it kind of looks like something off a Judas Priest album. And here you go, second stage of the fight. So on the side of here, she's going to start throwing missiles at you. And there you go. They can be very easy to miss. That prompt is only on the screen for a few seconds, and sometimes you'll press the buttons and it won't register because you were too slow. But if you do, you get to do this, which is kind of ripped off from Ocarina of Time when you're batting shit back and forth between you and Ganondorf. But I'll let him off. Love that game. Love this game. And once again, just keep watching her. Always have your eyes on her. If you see that, make sure you dodge it in time so you can get this. And always use your kill gore, kill gore combos because they hurt. And uh, just try to keep your life as high as you can for this moment. Because if you can get to the next checkpoint, it is at this next cutscene. You won't have to see the start of this fight again. And then uh, this fight is, is a long one. It's, it's you and her. It's mano a mano, even though you're both girls. And there you go, if you've made it there, you're safe now. Your fight will start from that moment every time onwards. So do the quick time, and then continue to, to fight this bitch. Obviously I, I crossed the distance there with the stinger because it's the safest way to get close to an enemy. She can do it too though, so be careful. And I uh, managed to dodge her, but I'm in the air so I'm no use to anybody. And I don't dodge that one, which I should have because it's not that hard to attack. Not that hard to dodge, sorry. And there you go, I get it that time, and I get to punish her. And there's another cutscene. Another cheeky quick time event that can be easily missed. And the next stage of the fight. And it's, it's pretty much the same all the way through. Just, um, she got me again, the bitch. Oh, now we go. No life. This should be interesting. I'm dodging, I'm dodging, I'm alive. She's coming down. I oh, we're close. And luckily enough, I'm getting the upper hand on her, but one tiny mistake and I'm done. But luckily enough, the counter comes up. If you fail this, you will take a ton of damage, so just bash like a motherfucker. And that is the next checkpoint. So this is the, the final section of this fight on the roof. And be aware, you can run surfaces, because as you can see, Bayonetta's feet are glowing, which means you can move on walls. And uh, the, the quick time event you just saw where we were both punching each other with the giant fists, that's going to happen again on this area. The difference being is, don't stop tapping Y, because it looks like it's ended and it continues for another bout. So make sure that doesn't catch you off guard or you will lose half your life. And this is a, a good example of it. Oh, but that one was, was quicker. It must be coming slightly later. And there we go, we're on our last bar of health. And she's running away, so another counter. Another track and field medley, there you go. You think it's ended, but it doesn't, you have to do it again. 
and try not to lose them because if you lose like I just did you pay the price and that was quite nice I managed to get her on the completely opposite surface with the YBY and now it's just a little back and forth between us both and I'm hitting her with the YBY which wasn't working on the, the last time we fought and her life's getting a little low now so I know this is pretty much over just punishing this bitch and as I've said this is the last time you have to, to go through these kind of fights so it's another chip off the old shoulder that you don't have to take this bitch on again that being said this is chapter 14 there are only 15 chapters and, a pro and an epilogue so we're getting very close to the end for anybody that's not enjoying this journey She does not want me to take that last slither of health off, but all things come to he who waits. And that's the end of this video, guys, so end of Isla Del Sol. Thank you for watching, and make sure you check out the ending to this, this epic guide.